In anticipation of its release this coming week, Disney Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever continued its promotional tour with a historic premiere in Lagos, Nigeria. This was a major event and the first time a Marvel movie has held a premiere locally with a large group of talent, filmmakers and press on hand for the black carpet rollout. Theophilus Ilama reports, after which we'll have the weather forecast and business news. Battle-ready soldiers from the Doromalaja Army of Wakanda welcoming guests. Inside, mild fireworks announcing the arrival of the director, as well as some lead cast of the second installment of the Black Panther franchise. Black Panther Wakanda forever, as they bring to the continent Marvel's story of African excellence. He has superhuman strength. Against the backdrop of a hugely critical and commercial success in 2018 when the first installment was introduced, the director explains the pressure of racing against his own record to produce another masterpiece. We, we were navigating folks' expectations because they had seen the first film um, and, and were expecting maybe certain stories or, or, or uh, wishing for certain things. So what we had to do was really um, kind of close everything else out and focus on the work. With a much steeper response. The Black Panther storyline follows the title character as portrayed by the late Chadwick Boseman, who died while the evasion for the movie was high. Now the team must replicate the success without him. I remember when Ryan called and said, you know, we're, we're doing the second one. And I was like, oh, wow. And he was like, you know, he was very clear that this is what, you know, the legacy that would honor our brother. And that really, really made sense to me the minute he said it. I walked into this being ready to have its own experience, ready to have a new experience. And unfortunately, reality had set that stage for us, that we couldn't even come close to having the same experience because we lost Chadwick. We experienced different stages of grief. Uh, and the characters are dealing with the loss of T'Challa in different ways. Uh, and Nakia is definitely no exception. But we find her at a, a place where she's matured. This is the first time a big Hollywood studio production brings its official premiere to Nigeria. Also present in the country with the team is Tunesh Hirta, who picked a new villain role. After the parley with the press was a premiere, which was a showcase of the African culture. Celebrities came out in support of the movie that has been largely successful all over the world.